Good day, Great Talks. My name is Rahani Masangu from Namapia Secondary School. Today, I'll be talking to you about Economic Geography, South African Industrial Regions, or rather, reading through the slides. Let's see what the exam guideline has to say. We all know that this year, we are only dealing with Gauteng PWV and the Port Elizabeth Winton Hay only. You must know all the region and where they are located. Key factors to concentrate on with regards to the prescribed core industrial areas. Map showing the locations. The factors influencing the location of the prescribed industrial region. Main industrial activities in the prescribed industrial region. Factors that favor and hinder the continued success of the prescribed core industrial study. The economic and social impact of the prescribed core industrial region. Case studies to illustrate the above. Let's look at the four major industrial regions in South Africa. Although we'll be dealing with the PWV and the Port Elizabeth Winton Hay, we also have the Devon Pine Town and the Southwestern Cape, but then you won't be dealing with those. We are not focusing on those ones. We are doing the PWV Gauteng and the Port Elizabeth Winton Hay slash Nelson Mandela Bay. The map below shows the location of the four industrial regions. Let's look at the Pretoria map. The reason for the development of this industrial region was the discovery of gold that led to people migrating to the area. This was called the gold rush. It's the result of the population grew and it led to the rapid development and industrialization of this area. The, industri the industrial region is situated in Gauteng province. This is the map of the PW Gauteng. As you can see, the locations. The map above shows the PWV Gauteng regions has developed into a conglomerate as a result of industrial development. This is a vast area of industrial development with a number of interlinked towns and cities which functions as a single economic hub. There are a diverse number of industries in the PWV Gauteng industrial region. Let's look at the factors influencing the location of the PWV Gauteng industrial region. Number one is the availability of raw material, the flat land and space, electricity, transport network, availability of water, and the large labor force. In the large labor force, the number of um, laborers working will be the one determining and influencing the industrial region in the PWV. The availability of water will also determine for us whether it will be a productive space or not. The transport network will also be involved there depending on whether the transport is near or further. The electricity having to do with the power outages and all that. The flat land space, the space which they will be working in and the availability of raw materials will determine that. Factors influencing the location of the PWV Gauteng Industrial Region. A good transport network, road, rail, and air in PWV. A well linked to other regions of South Africa, especially harbors. That, is, that one is a very important one because if there are no links, it means that it will, be, it will cost a lot of money to transport those goods. A large market, um, raw materials available, and has a skilled labor available. It has the largest population from all the core industrial region provinces. Large power stations located in PWV and local mines are closed. Large coal mines in Pumalanga. Sufficient water supply, water supply supplemented by water projects, for example, the TUVA project has many tertiary education institutions for skill development. We all know that many people need to be skilled in order to work in this industry. So this is why they included the tertiary institution. It plays an important role in giving people the skills they need in order to work. And last but not least, a relatively flat land. This makes it easier for construction industries to take place. Let's look at the factors that in hinder the PWV Gauteng industrial region. Number one is the over concentration of industries, for example, in the core industrial region, meaning that if those these industries are in the same place and the place won't be as product, productive as possible. The second one is the strain on the resources. 
Example is the water supply and power supply. We all know that low shading is a major problem here in SA. So power outages might also not favor this industrial region. The second one is low shading and increasing cost of electricity can hinder productivity. Like I've said before, us having power outages here in South Africa is also taking a strain on these businesses. The second one is strain on transport infrastructure, such as traffic congestion. The second one is the PWV industrial region is far from the harbors creating more expenses. Um, like I said in the previous factors where we talked about the factors that were affecting the industrial region, the transport, the harbors not being close to the region will cost them a lot of money because they need to transport those goods. The second one is the industries, especially heavy industries, they create a lot of air pollution. Another one is labor unrest and protest. Safety problems, power struggle between labor unions and industries, production decreased due to workers taking more sick leave, and the hard lockdown during pandemic has had a negative impact on the productivity. Let's look at the main industrial activities in PWV industrial region. The main industries in the PWV Gauteng industrial regions are iron and steel products, which is the metal steel, engineering products as the aviation, chemical products like the sasol, the motor car assembly plants, um, the ones in, in Fort, um, the cosmetics, Apex clothing manufacturers, Economic and social impacts of the PWV Gauteng industrial region. Number one is the industries contribute money to the GDP to our country. The industries and foreign exchange when through the export of machinery. The money earned through the exports increase the earnings and the earnings of the region. Local people and the rest of the country, both skilled and unskilled, get employment in the region. The industry serve as a market for the local raw material. Some companies reinvest in the communities by providing bazaaries for the development. Let's look at the map integration of the industrial region in the PWV, Broxburg, Benoni and Brakpan area. As you can see, those that indicate the large labor pool, the availability of water, the flat land, the transport network, electricity, and raw material. I know that we all given these keys in the map, so now that you study this, this map, you will know what each and every one of these logos stand for in the map, and it will be easier for you when you study and answer your questions in map work. Let's look at the Port Elizabeth Winton H, the, known as the Nelson Mandela Metropole. It is the smallest core industrial region in South Africa. Initial development greatly influenced by port facilities and it is situated in the Eastern Cape. Main industrial activities in the Port Elizabeth Winton H industrial region are the motor vehicle, example the car assembly, metal production known as such as the wire tubes and plates, the textiles, clothes and footwear which have to do with the production of clothes. Main industrial activities of the Port Elizabeth Winton Haven region. These are the pictures, as you can see, there people are doing the, the cars and the metal production. Here is the textiles and clothing and footwear. People are, are making clothes there. Food canning, which also takes place in the factories. Let's look at the factors influencing the location of the Port Elizabeth Winton Hague industrial region. It is close to the harbor, hence the cheaper cost for importing, for example, the car parts and export of motor vehicles. The skilled and unskilled labor supply in Eastern Cape population is about 6,734,001, 11,3% since 2020, approximately 1.3 million in the Port Elizabeth Winton Hague. Good supply of raw materials such as cotton and fruit used for the production of the textile, cotton, soft drinks and variety of food products. A good transport network, rail, 
road, air and port which links it to other regions of South Africa. It is linked to international markets through the harbours. Centrally located in relation to the Western Cape and Devon Pine Town core industrial region. It has a good water supply because it is located in the eastern half of the country that receives more rainfall. Factors hindering industrial development in Port Elizabeth Winton H industrial region. This industrial region is stricken by drought periodically. It is located far from mines, which makes the transportation of raw materials to be expensive. It is far from coal mine, which results in high electricity costs. Sometimes employees, employees engage in strikes, which result in loss of production. Economic and social impacts of the Port Elizabeth Winton Hage Industrial Region. Sorry. Industries contribute money to the GDP of South Africa, which most of these industries contribute to the GDP of South Africa. This one is a must that you must know for all these industrial regions. The industries and foreign exchange through the export of machinery. This one is also an obvious one. I feel like all of us should know these first two points when it comes to factors that influence these four industrial regions in terms of economic and social. The money and through the exports increase the earnings of the foreign of the region. Local people and the rest of South Africa, both skilled and unskilled, benefit by getting employment in this region. The industry serve a market as a market for local raw material extracted in agriculture and fishing. Some of these companies reinvest in the community communities by providing bursaries and skills development. This is the map showing the industrial region in the Port Elizabeth Mountain Hay. Well guys, we have reached the end of this video. If you managed to watch up to this far, thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share and like. Share with your classmates, your friends who are doing geography. Happy studying grade 12 and good luck with your exams.